Hi, it's an evangelist here. We're um, talking about Alfred Hitchcock's sabotage tonight. Yeah, I think the term Hitchcockian refers to pieces of business that Hitchcock did, like telegraphing to you what is going to happen and and marking the victim. Yeah, the bus sequence is what we're talking about, and that Hitchcock does a it, it's a time bomb. The boy is given a time bomb to carry because the. The guy, the Oscar Hamulka, the spy, is too scared to carry it. And so he sends the, the boy in his place. And the bomb is set to go off at 1.45. And there, Hitchcock puts everything that he can, every impediment in the boy's way to delay him so that you in the movie, in the theater... All the people are going, whoa, get going. What are you doing? Stop. No, everybody, Hitchcock knows exactly how to get. That's why he can fill seats, because he knows exactly how to do what to do to people once they're in those seats. <laughs> you know, he is a master of cinema. And they it just, even though he may be dark at times, but he's brilliant, you know, and he shows you. Unfortunately, the, the the full spectrum of of uh, of the of the darkness of the human soul and the and the uh, the, the it, its ability to to be happy and joyous and uh, find truth and and redemption and all that stuff. He's he, what he's doing really, and what the the cruel joke is that he's showing you just how little what little value. Uh, ideal, ideal, ideal dogs put on human life. I mean, it's just complete sadism, and he rubs salt in the wounds all through the film, showing you little uh, inferences about how happy the boy is, and and Sylvia Sidney's face is like a a, a bouquet of flowers. It's like joy, you know, and. Her, everything about it, her face is um, just says <coughs> truth and innocence. But in her film, in the film, in the Fritz Lang film Fury with Spencer Tracy, her eyes penetrate you, and her uh, Hitchcock uses her eyes to just penetrate, pe pierce the audience with her gaze. She's got the the, the pure gaze of, 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 an, of the innocent virginal woman. And I, <laughs> Oscar Homolka is like this gorilla. And you can't, first of all, you can't understand why this beautiful young woman would be married to a, an ugly monster like <laughs> Oscar Homolka. And, um, you know, it, it's... Hitchcock is just, he just went too far, and his wife even told him, I said, you've gone too far this time. And then there's, a, there's a, a, in the beginning you see that he had, that, that Disney actually had to make a, write up a treaty with him <laughs> to show <coughs> who killed Cock Robin in, on the screen while she is realizing who did kill the cock robin, which is her brother, the, the little boy who was just blown to shreds. Disney was, I mean, to a lot of people, uh, Disney is a well-known sadist, and, uh, you know, he, he did things like kill Bambi's mother for you and stuff like that, and he's just, you know, trust Disney to help to, to abed Hitchcock in one of his most sadistic ventures. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> You can watch that film and see how so many other filmmakers are watching that film and saying, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you know, that works. That's beautiful. You know, and he, he, uh, he developed his chiaroscuro to the point where it was perfectly balanced. And the light is exactly where it belongs on the on the tips of the of the features of a face, and all the rest of it is in shadow. 
everything that needs to be seen is lit. You know, uh, and it, it's what's part of Hitchcock's brilliance, I guess, is, is his 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 visual integrity. You know that he really gives your eyes a feast and your mind, and it's just a brilliant film, and I really think you should watch it, even though it's hard. It's a hard one, but. If you if you kind of watch it in a, in a kind of an Edward Gorey kind of mood, <laughs> you know, then um, you can kind of uh, see the joke of the universe. You know how people will set you up for uh, for a fall. You know, they they Hitchcock uses the uses that device and his, what MacGuffin, uh, <laughs> as he calls it to um, keep stringing you along and, and keep you in, engaged and involved and completely mis in, in, uh, uh, you know, mystified.